In order to have a look at your assignments, you'll go across the top tab and you will click on the assignments tab. Here is where you will see um, work that is assigned, work that is due, and it will also show you what is completed. Okay, so we can see on the left hand side here under general that there's a little red number one there. So we click on that because that's an indication that we've now had some work assigned. So that takes us back to the post page. So we can read, we can see there that there's been an assignment posted. So then from here, we can click to a view assignment. If we don't go to the post, we can still go back to the tab at the top and we can click on there and it takes us to the same point. So once we go to the assignments, we click on the assignment that's due in, and then we need to look at what the instructions are. So here it says upload completed assignment. From there, then we look to add work. So we'll click on the add work. We would have completed the work uh, using whatever format your teacher has requested. And then we will look for the document because it's saved to our personal space. So you save it there first and then you click to upload it from there. So we click attach and then it's attaching the work. Once it's attached, you then click on the hand in button. If I decide that, oh, actually I've just uploaded the wrong version, I can, before the deadline date, I'm able to click on this button again and click undo hand in. And here then I can change the documents. So you click on the three little buttons and you can open it in Word and you can edit it or you can remove it. So we can remove it and then we can click and upload the version that we actually intended to in the first place. And then again, once we've uploaded that, we click hand in. Once your, once your assignment has been handed in, it will then be sent to your teacher who will then be able to give you some feedback. So once the feedback has been given, it'll be returned back to you. So you can click on the completed and then you can click on the assignment and then you can see the feedback here on the top right. So on this one, we've got top marks and that was, that was the end of it. It could be that if we, because we've had this marked and it's all been completed before the deadline date, if there was an error or something that needed improving, we could then go back to uploading the document as we did before. So clicking on the little dots and then selecting what we want to do or editing it in Word. And then we could then hand it in again. So then that way, the teacher would then have the updated assignment and then they could, they've, we've also acted on that feedback. So once your assignment has been marked and the deadline has passed, you will then be able to see your grades. To do this, you click on the tab at the top, grades, and underneath here, you will see your uh, assignments, that they, the status, so whether it's handed in, whether it's late, and whether the teacher has viewed it or not. So you can see on the top one here, the due date was tomorrow, it was an assignment. There's a tick next to it because it's been handed in and it says handed in. This assignment didn't have any points awarded to it, so there was no points scored. If there were points awarded and marks, then that's where you would see them. On the next one down, you can see on the 19th of September, it was an essay assignment. It's been handed in, it's been viewed, but the teacher hasn't marked it yet. So there's no points there to see. That will be updated when the teacher has marked it and then returned it that way. So from your grades, um, we'll go back a little bit. So you might be working for your teacher and they might give you some, some work to do where they want you to collaborate as a class or within a group. 